Reading Course Development for English 115 Students Chapter 1. Rethinking Travel Unit 3. The Iron Road Objectives After completing this unit, students will be able to Understand the modes of travel in the 19th century Explain how the Iron Road was built And recall the companies involved in building the railroad Paragraph 1. In the 1860s, the Civil War divided America between the North and the South but even before the Civil War, America was a divided country. Most people lived along the East Coast. In the West, California was a large and rich area, but it was almost impossible to travel there. People in the East heard stories of golden goods, cheap farmland in the West, and they wanted to go. There were two ways to reach California, by ship or by covered wagon. It took months of dangerous sailing around Cape Horn to reach California by ship. Traveling 2,000 miles by wagon train across dangerous mountains and deserts often took almost a year. Many people believed that a railroad to the Pacific would be the future of the country and the answer to the problems of Western migration. Paragraph 2. In 1862, the American government decided on a route that went from Omaha, Nebraska to Sacramento, California. Much of the route was along an old pioneer trail. They chose two companies to build the railroad. The Central Pacific would build from the west, and the Union Pacific would build from the east. Paragraph 3. The Central Pacific Railroad was started by a young engineer named Theodore Judah. The high Sierra Nevada mountains in California always made a railroad across America seem impossible. Judah found a way to lay the tracks through the mountains. Paragraph 4. The real heroes of the railroad were the 20,000 men who worked to build the iron road with their bare hands. Most of the workers were immigrants. Almost 10,000 Chinese immigrants worked for the Central Pacific Railroad. The Union Pacific workers were mostly from Ireland, Germany, the Netherlands, and the Czech Republic. Thousands of Civil War veterans also worked on the Union Pacific. Paragraph 5. Life was hard for workers of both companies. Union Pacific workers endured 12-hour shifts in the summer heat. Sometimes, violent groups of people attacked the camps. The Central Pacific workers also had long shifts. They had the dangerous job of building the railroad across the high Sierra Nevada mountains. Avalanches and explosions killed more than a thousand workers. Paragraph 6. As the railroad lines got closer, the two companies became competitive. The only towns along the route were the wealthy communities of the Salt Lake Valley in Utah. The company that got to Salt Lake first could build a train station and get the profitable Salt Lake business. There was no finish line to this race, so the two railroad companies began to build right past each other across the high desert of North Utah. The government finally made the two companies agree on a meeting point. They agreed on Promontory, Utah, on the north rim of Salt Lake. It was here they finally met on May 10th, 1869, six years after beginning the project. Match the following words with its correct meaning on the right. Number one, migration. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. B. The movements of animals or people from one area to other. Let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word migration. Muhammad, can you please talk about this? Well, in this picture, I see a couple or a group of birds flying. And that's their movements and what that migration means. Movements of people or animals from the one place to another. Let's take a look at the paragraph containing the vocabulary word migration. In the last sentence, it reads... Many people believe that a railroad to the Pacific would be the future of the country and the answer to the problems of Western migration. Number two, iron. Muhammad, please give us the correct answer on the right. C, a metal. Let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word iron. Muhammad, please talk about this. Well, I see in this picture a railroad and it's made of iron the tracks of the trains and that's what iron is a metal 
Let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word iron. Let's read the sentence. The real heroes of the railroad were the 20,000 men who worked to build the iron road with their bare hands. Number three, avalanche. Mohammed, please give us the correct meaning on the right. D. Snow, rocks, or mud that suddenly fall down a mountain. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word avalanche. Mohammed, can you talk about this? Well, I see in this picture a sudden falling of the snow from the mountains with some rocks, and that's what avalanche means a sudden falling down from the mountain, whether it's snow, mud, or rocks. Let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word avalanches. Let's read the sentence. Avalanches and explosions killed more than a thousand workers. Number four, wealthy. Mohammed, please give us the correct meaning on the right. A. Rich. Let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word wealthy. Mohammed, talk about this. Well, I see in this picture a man carrying a huge bag of money seems like it and that's what and he's rich and that's what wealthy means rich let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word wealthy let's read the sentence the only towns along the route were the wealthy communities of the Salt Lake Valley in Utah choose the correct answer number one the iron road is the name people gave to a the railroad. Let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word railroad. Let's read the sentence. The real heroes of the railroad were the 20,000 men who worked to build the iron road with their bare hands. Number two. People thought it was impossible to build a railroad across the U.S. because of the C. High mountains. Let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary words high mountains. I'll highlight it for you while reading the sentence. The high Sierra Nevada mountains in California always made a railroad across America seem impossible. Number three. The workers of the Central Pacific Railroad were mostly B. Chinese immigrants. Let's take a look at a paragraph containing the answer. I'll read the sentence for you. Almost 10,000 Chinese immigrants worked for the Central Pacific Railroad. Now let's have a discussion. Mohammed, please talk about the various things you learned in this unit. 